Hey guys, I'm Melissa and I thought I'd make a little video to show you how I install my wigs. Um, some of you have asked for a little bit of help and I will do my best. I'll show you how I do it and hopefully you might get some tips that could help you too. Um, all right. So this wig right here is Nolan by Renee of Paris in Plumberry Jam. And I would um, first, okay, let's see, let's start from the beginning. So you have the choice to just have your um, bio hair underneath and you could braid it up or, you know, put it in a low pony, put in a little knot. I personally take mine, put it in a really low pony, and put the wig cap on, and then pull the wig cap down, and just flip up my little ponytail into the wig cap. Wig cap. <laughs> That's how I do mine. Um, and then you can take your hands and, you know, mush your bio hair into the actual wig cap. I'll show you that in one second, but. So if you see me looking over here, I have a table with all my stuff set up so I can show you. And then I also have a mirror because I can't do this without looking in a mirror. Yes, after like six to seven years of wearing wigs, I still like to look in a mirror. <laughs> okay, so you probably have the regular wig caps, which this is what I use. And... They are pretty large. Um, when I had my hair down to the middle of my back, um, I could still put all of that hair up into one of these wig caps and it wasn't tight at all. Um, so you may just have a little bit of extra material there um, if you are bald or if you um, don't have much bio hair. But these work great. This is what I use most of the time um then you have your traditional wig grips which i also have several of these sometimes i will choose to use these if i have a larger wig that i want or that's not tight on my head and i need some more stuff in there <laughs> to hold it in place um these are great as well um and you can basically put on your wig the same way with any of these methods so don't worry about that it's all a personal choice then this is one of my favorites um right now i don't do it because i find it to be really hot um because yeah it's getting to be that age for me and you all know um this is one of the wig grip caps with the cap already on it. These are great as well because um, you've already got everything right there and you just put all your hair up into that and Velcro it on and you're good to go. So this is another good option for you. Those are the three ways or actually the fourth way would be, you know, with just your bio hair down and let's see okay so let me remove this and just show you what i do and i have two wigs today that i'm going to show you how i install them i'm going to try to get through it pretty quick because i know you guys don't want to sit around and watch all a super long video um let's see so first okay i take my wig cap like i said and I put it on and then I stretch it back over my head to get all the bio hair and there you see mine's all in there all messy and it's platinum blonde with you see roots I haven't redone my roots me personally I have little I guess like you could say triangles you know or like underneath side cut so I shave these um, which makes it a lot easier to lay down wigs, which I wear wigs all the time. So for me, nobody's ever going to see this. Um, and this is the 
nude wig cap that I've got on. You see all my hair, and hopefully you can see that. It's just all smushed up in here. And what I do is I take, let's see, I've got a couple of options. The got to be spray. This is a godsend. I use this all the time. Then there is the even lace. Um, what lace bond it's called, sorry. I use this too for a little bit of stronger hold if I want. Or this is another option. Um, this I mainly use just to melt down lace. It's perfect for that. It is um, wig dealer. And this stuff works amazing. I have one more thing to show you from wig dealer that works wonders on um, wigs if you're planning on wearing them for a little bit longer period of time like a couple days um, at a time and I know most of you guys do not do that but if you absolutely have to sleep in your wig I have done it before um, and I put it all up into a silk bonnet to keep it safe um, wig dealer also has this which it's a wig touch up and it's really cool because it's got the adhesive I'm not sure you know what is in it but the adhesive comes out here and you just go along your hairline like this put teeny tiny little dots you know and you can just smooth it down with this little applicator and it works wonders for the lace this is a much stronger hold for just normal day-to-day -day wear, but it's a great product. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by any of these by any means. I just wanted to show you what I have in my little arsenal and what I use. And most of the time, it's got to be. So what I do, once my wig cap is on and it's where I want it, I always wear mine just a teeny tiny little bit past my actual hairline which as you see mine's <laughs> receding Shh, don't tell anybody okay um but it's i put it right there along my natural hairline and i take the got to be and i will spray it right here my bottle is spraying everywhere lovely <laughs> take this spray it along the edges of your wig cap the reason why i do this and it might help some of you if you're having problems with slippage or anything else like that is if i just put on a wig cap like this for some reason mine always slips back it slips off and this is the way that i've found to keep it on and you go along the edges then you take your handy dandy blow dryer and on low heat or cool it's your choice you can just go along until the edges are you know smushed down and dry so that as you can see it's not going to go anywhere that's what i do and then for the fun part which you guys are all asking for okay here is nolan let me find her the top so here's what i do as you can see there is the lace right here what i do is i grab the back right here with my hands and i have the entire back of the wig grabbed just like that and put my fingers inside to flip it. I know most of you guys have your own method of putting it on. That's just how I do it. Then I will put my forehead into the wig and pull it back over my hair until it is at the back of my head. Now, that's really pretty, right, cousin it? Flip your hair back. Now, this is where you need to be very careful so your lace doesn't rip. Take the wig, I put my fingers through it, 
grab as much as I can very gently and pull back. See, I'm looking in my mirror just so I can see where I want it, okay? That's a little bit more. See, and the fun part about this, you can make your forehead as big, well, up to there, you know, if you want the whole forehead, which I don't, I'm going to make my forehead a little bit smaller. So pull it down a little bit or wherever you want it. Next thing to do is on the sides right here, you know where those ear tabs are? You're gonna find them, okay? Make sure that you grab them both, put them where they're even on the top of your ears. And some of them have little metal pieces in them that you can push down and bend so that it sticks to your head better, like that. You see, it's right there and mine grips because I shave that part of my head anyways. So I push down, then here's the fun part, okay. As you see, and this is why I wanted to do this with a darker wig so you guys could see what I do. And I've got hair all caught underneath the lace. So you just gently with your fingers or you can take, let's see if I can get most of it. Come on. Oh, that one was loose. So you take your fingers, make sure you get all of the hair out from underneath the lace right there. Cause it'll look funny if you have random pieces of hair just floating around in there. All right, next, what you're going to do, you can hold your hair back like this, um, or what you can do is get a clip, clip it up, and that might make it easy for most of you. And then what you're gonna do is, let me grab this other bottle. Okay. So, take your hair, gently pull it back over the wig cap. So you can see the edges of the wig cap. Take your got to be Let's see. And you can see, spray little dots, push it in, little dots, push it down, little dots. Okay. It doesn't take much unless you want like super old. Okay. But I just do about that much right there on the top of my head. That's enough to keep it holding all day. Okay. Then you're going to take your wig. And again, carefully move it down. I put mine down a little bit further than I want it. And I pull up to exactly where I want it. Okay. Make sure your ear tabs are straight. Okay. Now, you've got the hair pulled back right here. You can take your fingers, push down where the lace is right there, the lace edge, push down. That will help it hold. Or sometimes I can stick my fingers back in there and press down to hold it. Also, you can take your blow dryer on cool. Make sure you take it on cool and blow dry it right there. That just makes it hold like a little bit faster, but generally it'll be down already. Okay. So you're pretty much done. Ah, see, there's a little wild, crazy hair that all happens to all of us. Um, with this one being a little bit darker wig. Okay. You see that? Is that a hair? Hang on. Nope. That's the lace. Okay. Here's where the wig dealer um, comes in handy. That's what I like it for. The lace melting so that it kind of hides it. If you have a darker wig, just take it and put 
teeny, teeny, tiny little dots. It doesn't take much of this at all. You can rub over the edges with your fingers or you can take a um, wide tooth comb. You see there's that little hair again. Come back here. Okay, or I take, sorry, this comb. I can't grab it, lovely. And you take it and you will push it down real easy right there. Go in between, you know, like where the little hairs are and you can press down and move it back and forth. And that will make it have a hold, a better hold. You can also press down right there with it. You can take your comb and go like this, go back and forth with it to press it down. And that just melts the lace into your head better. See, it is on my head. And that is all how I do mine for this kind of wig. And it's, it's on. With that, you saw the teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of got to be that I used. And it's on my head. Um, it's not going to slip. If you, throughout the day, you're out in the heat or something and sweating a lot, and you notice, say, um, this one's already on. Oh, here's an example. You can see part of your lace might be coming up a little bit. You can fix that easily. Take the got to be or any of the items I showed you. Take it, hold it up, spray a tiny little bit underneath it. And if you're out, you probably may not have this, but I always take my comb and press down on it. And that will fix your little flyaway hair and the, um, let's see, see, that was fixed. Okay, now, many of you have asked how to remove this without harming your wig, your head, any of the hair, that type of thing. So, let me show you real quick what I do. And you know what? I forgot my water. So, give me one second. Hold on, ladies. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. What I do, I take a washcloth. Right now, I just have a uh, makeup eraser, and these work also. And some water. And of course, you'll be in your bathroom or somewhere else and don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm in my bedroom to show you. Make sure that it's wet. Take it, place it up very gently up against the lace where you you know, laid it down. It's already going to start coming up. See, very easy. And voila, it's off. Now, see, it pulled a little bit of my wig cap off. So let's go back and stick it down. That's all you have to do. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And I forgot to mention, if you have issues with um, hiding the knots or if you wanted um, the front of this part to be a little bit less noticeable right here with the dark roots right there the options that I could show you I found that you can use concealer you can use um, foundation or Let's see, what else? Powder, the best thing that I have found to hide knots, and like if you wanna go up your part just a little bit to show, um, I mean to hide the, oh, I'm not hide, not hide. <laughs> to make your part a little bit lighter, 
The best thing I have found, and you don't have to use this brand, of course, but it's, I have the NYX um, color, is it color correcting? Yes. It's Conceal Correct Contour Camouflage Corrector. This is the little thing that I have that works. I think it's because this is more of like a liquid, like a clay. So I think when you apply this, it sticks more in the um, little grids of the lace to hide them. And then after that, I will take just a very light dusting of any kind of like powder and just powder it on top. And then you can kind of rub it around really easily to, to get the excess powder off. And that's how I hide the knots. Okay, here's one more option where even as many times as I have put wigs on, I have some issues sometimes. And I know you ladies probably do too. Or um, hopefully I'm not the only one. Okay, so I have this wig here from Nell's Wigs. I forgot her name. Um, and she comes with a fixed middle part and two combs on the side. Let's, oh, you can't see. Two combs on the side right there. And she does not have her lace cut whenever you get her. So you have to cut the lace. And let's see if I can show you how far away I have cut the lace. Can you see right there how much I have left? That's how much lace I left next to the hairline on her. You can do it up to your preference. I mean, you could even cut up to her hairline if you want. A lot of people use uh, pinking shears to do little angles and everything along here so you don't notice it as much. But um, as one of you said, one of you mentioned this, that when you do the um, pinking shears, some of the little jagged edges like to come up and that's what I found to be an issue. So I kind of just cut like a not even line across it. And for me, that seems to work as well. Um, so when you do that, then you get over here to the ear tabs and this is where you might have a question. You cut right here, cut straight out. And if you guys want, I have a beautiful human hair wig from Kirsten that I have not cut the lace off of yet and put on my head. I will make another video because this one's getting long um, and show you how to do that. But Basically, I'll show you how to install this kind because that kind, you're not going to be gluing down your sideburns right here. Um, or if you do, it, the got to be and everything has a little bit of a hard time uh, sticking to the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? The material that's right here on some of the ear tabs that the companies put on there. Um, so this is just another wig I'm going to show you a little bit on the install, what I would do. Um, and I'm going to do this one real quickly for you because most of you are going to be getting the ones from like Beltras and, you know, Renee of Paris and John Renault and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's throw her on. Let's see. Okay, flip her back, and she's a middle part, so let me smooth her over to the middle. Okay, then we're going to take the ear tabs. Oh, there's hair in here. Okay, this one you can see better. So what you will do, take the ear tabs, grab them with your thumbs, and grab the wig with your hands. And you can adjust your wig like that. Just be very careful, do it gently. Make your ear tabs even. 
and then you can see again to pull back the wig just a little bit right there take my got to be I still have some on my forehead <laughs> from the last one ah, it's dripping down you can move there you go let's do that okay you can wait till it gets a little bit tacky or you can do it right away there's different ways to do it look at that okay so and I still haven't thinned this uh, hairline out or done anything with this one yet I just cut the lace on it so um, there it is in the middle you take it and you press down right there she has clips on her ear tabs um, right here back behind it. Can you see? There you go. So you just take it right here, clip it down, and then your hair will be right here with just the ear tabs sticking out. And most of the time, I don't glue this down. Um, it's just a big hassle and your hair tends to come up a lot right here. Um, your hair the the wig for me anyways tends to come up a lot so I generally don't but if you feel you need to all you do again take your got to be can you see spray under there hold her down and blow dry it Sometimes this part takes longer. I'm not going to make you guys wait for it to adhere to right there. So, but that's what you do. Um, and just make sure that it's stuck down to your liking. And there you go. She is stuck. You just rub your fingers like this. Okay. And <laughs> she's on. And again, you saw me, I hardly used any product. She's not gonna go anywhere. Um, one little tip that I was going to show you um, is, let's see, there's your part right there. Sometimes when you have your part, you can see you know, your wig band or your bio hair or anything else like that um through here so what you can do is again take that oh where did i i did not bring a brush a makeup brush in here um again here's where this comes in handy you can just put a nice little thin line right up here it's not gonna hurt your wig um it washes right off um and again it's just preference you've got this you've got this or you've got concealer you can also take your concealer or any product right here and where you have the line of the actual lace touching your skin ah, i've got hair everywhere so let's see if we can see okay can you see right there? Mine matches up pretty well. Um, so this is not going to help. But if you find out that your lace does not match your actual skin, you can take a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. See the teeniest little amount that I'm using and just put it right there. And then you can go in and blend it. And see again like it really didn't do anything for mine because mine was already pretty good match but that is one little tip that you can use all right guys i'm not sure if there's any questions or anything else like that but feel free to leave comments um if it doesn't tag me or if i don't see it right away 
tag me down here in the comments and I will try to answer everything that I possibly can to help. Um, one more thing I was thinking about is, so for the nape of your neck, um, some of the wigs have the bra straps to pull them to tighten them. Some of them have the Velcro to tighten. You want to make sure that your wig is definitely not tight where it's going to give you a headache, but tight enough to where it, it's really not going to move around too much, just where it fits your head comfortably. And then you um, can adjust it from there. You can hold on to the nape and again, adjust your wig. You can move it around a little bit. I already put hairspray up here, so it's not going to move much, but you can pull down your wig right there. And I have not had any success. <laughs> Let me just say this. I have not had any success gluing down the act the nape because it's it's material and or it's I'm not sure what that is um, but it doesn't hold very well and I've never because you move your head around you move your neck and it's probably gonna come up um, so if you have problems with it coming off right here you can buy off Amazon. They are super, super cheap. The little wig clips um, and just sew them into your hair. YouTube has a ton of videos on how to do this and it's pretty simple. I have put combs in several of mine just to have that extra little security hooked in and it hooks in right underneath my um, wig cap back there. So it's pretty easy, let's see. And here's what we do again. Oops, get some water on my little <laughs> thing. And what we're gonna do is hold it, put down the, you can go like this with the water like that to make sure we're getting it off. I put a lot over here to uh, see it already came up I didn't do it for long enough and you'll have that problem too again I have problems sometimes still so don't get don't get mad um, it takes a lot of practice and every single wig is different that's definitely what I have found and you just have to be patient and keep trying i know it's it gets frustrating <laughs> i have thrown wigs across the room um i have been extremely late to functions um because i could not get my wig on <laughs> but hopefully that helps you guys um again if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can um, send me a friend request, send me a message on my page. Um, anything that you would like to um, ask, go right ahead. I will try to help you the best that I can. And let me get her back on. Some wigs, you may be lucky and you don't have to do anything at all. You can just throw them on and go. I wish that was the case for most of mine, but usually I like to put like just a dab here. You can also put it on top. Take your glue. I showed you that. It's not glue, but take the wig dealer or the got to be and then put, you know, couple little sprays rub back and forth very gently and now this one's on that's all I had to do so I am good for the day all right I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope this helped you a little bit bye